Speaking of state championships, a team with aspirations to try to get there would be the Tyler Legacy Red Raiders taking the field under that name for the first time in school history. And well, they were trying to make a little history tonight against the Lufkin Panthers. Last time these two teams met was back in 2015. Lufkin had the edge. First year head coach Joe Willis coming to East Texas from Colleyville Heritage. And of course, Lufkin head coach Todd Quick in his ninth season leading this Lufkin program. And early on, well, it was a steady dose of Jamari and Miller. One of two pulverizing legacy backs. His tough running would get the Red Raiders into the red zone. And then, well, quarterback Trent Adams, when you got that kind of cavalcade in the backfield, you can have some fun. This time, the read option. He runs it to perfection, gets the edge, gets to the pylon. And on their first drive of the year, Tyler Legacy, they are on the board 6-0 early. But if you think the Panthers are not going to come back, well, you obviously haven't watched much Lufkin football. Third and 11 for Lufkin quarterback Jordan Moore. He's going to find his big tight end, Sam Flack, over the middle to move the sticks for the Panthers. Now a few plays later, Pack in the red zone, knocking on the doorstep in Caleb Berry. Well, he'll do the dirty work from just a few yards out. Lufkin strikes right back and ties this at seven apiece. But on the very first play of the next Tyler Legacy drive, yep, you know who's getting the ball. It's big Jamari and Miller. This kid's going to be playing power five college football in many Saturdays to come. He gets ahead of steam and he is gone. 92 yards, rumble young man, rumble from his own eight yard line. The Red Raiders, well, they got themselves a superstar back and they have themselves a week one victory. The Joe Willis era is off to a mighty fine start. Tyler Legacy, they beat a very good Lufkin team 70 to 32. And Tina, uh, I thought we knew Legacy was going to be pretty good. We knew they had some pretty good running backs. I don't think we knew they were going to be that good. That's something else.